And welcome back to Good Morning Vale. A big event happening down in Gypsum this weekend. The first annual Grills. I say that right? Grills Gone Wild. Not Girls Gone Wild. Grills Gone Wild. Ryan Thompson, one of That's the correct. founders of the 10th think... Mountain Whiskey and Spirits, is here yes, to sir. join us and kind of give us the details. Let's, we'll get into the Grills Gone Wild in a moment. But sure. Ryan, tell us first off, 10th Mountain, tell us about the, the background of it, where it came from and where you guys are going. Like It's been growing a lot over the sure. past couple of years. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, about uh, six, seven years ago, my business partner, Christian Avignon, and I were um, talking around, throwing out the idea around uh, starting a whiskey distillery company here in town, and we uh, thought we should name it in honor of the 10th Mountain guys that uh, trained at Camp Hale in the 1940s. Um, Christian's grandfather was one of the uh, original soldiers in the 10th, and uh, we wanted to do something in honor of them. Without those guys, then we all wouldn't be here enjoying the mountain lifestyle that we do today. Um, so we thought, what better way to honor them than start a, a whiskey distillery? <laughs> so you started with whiskey. Yep. And you've branched out into other spirits, is that yep. correct? Yeah, we do uh, three different types of whiskey. Our Colorado Clear Mountain Moonshine yeah, is technically a, whis a whiskey. Our 10th Mountain Rye Whiskey and a 10th Mountain Bourbon. But then we also have uh, 10th Mountain Potato Vodka and our Alpine Glow Cordial, which is uh, Colorado Sage, Palisade Peach, Infused Cordial. Wow. Yep. Wow. So it's delicious. And, then, and you're, we'll talk about this event at the distillery in Gypsum in a minute, but where are your locations? Where can people go and and try it out. You have a tasting room in the Vale area somewhere, Yeah, right? we sure do. We actually have two tasting rooms in the Valley. We have one right on Bridge Street in Vale Village, um, right over the covered bridge, first shop on the right. Uh, we also have one at the distillery in Gypsum. Um, the one in Vale Village is open seven days a week, uh, 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. Okay. And the one in uh, Gypsum is open Wednesday through Sunday from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, you can get the, the products at uh, pretty much all the liquor stores around town these days. Mm -hmm. uh, and the majority of restaurants carry at least uh, a few of our spirits. So Yeah, they do. Yeah. All right. Now, what are these? These are some awesome trophies <laughs> that a local craftsman, uh, John Cummins, and his brother uh, uh, made for I love us. Them. So um, they are. Do you have uh, a first, second, and third place? No, we same? have a, um, one for each of the three different competitions going on tomorrow at uh, Grills Gone Wild. We have one for uh, the bar uh, barbecue cook-off. Um, we have one for the cocktail competition, and we have one for the cornhole tournament. Are they individual teams, or is it a group of people that make up a team? It can be either either way. So However somebody could win all it. three of these. If they, they could, they, yeah, that if they're that goal. talented. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's open to individuals. It's open to the public. It's free to enter. Um, if you you can represent a restaurant, there's uh, over two thousand dollars worth of prizes and giveaways we're we're giving out for for first, second, third places for each of the different competitions. So, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And is space limited? I mean, are you looking to cap it off at a certain amount? Yeah, of we're, we're, there's a couple more spots open at this okay. point, but um, we're going to cap it off at 15 uh, entries. Um, for each of the categories? Yeah, 16 for the cornhole tournament, so the brackets uh, right. work out. Okay. Um, but for the, uh, the grand prize for the barbecue cook-off is a five-gallon barrel full of whiskey. Stop which uh, retails for uh, over fifteen or over fifteen hundred dollars. A five-gallon barrel full, full of whiskey. whiskey. Yeah, you can't beat that, right? Come on. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Now that's for which one? For the barbecue. For champion? the barbecue champion. Yeah. Okay. For the uh, cocktail competition, if uh, the the bartender gets uh, two hundred fifty dollars cash, and if they represent a restaurant here in town, then that restaurant gets fifty percent off our spirits through Labor Day weekend. And maybe that'll incentivize that restaurant to bring it into the restaurant exactly, too, absolutely, right? I mean, yeah. that's a great idea. Absolutely. I mean, yep. why not? People like to taste what's local. I mean, this yep. is great, and you guys do a great job. Absolutely, thank you. So, Girls Gone Wild, people can go online in advance to sign up. Would yeah. you recommend they do that? Yeah, absolutely. Go to uh, send us an email at grillsgonewild at 10thwhiskey.com. That's 10th, whiskey with an E. Uh, the event is from 4 to 9 p.m. tomorrow, May okay. 27th. It's a $10 suggested donation at the door uh, as a uh, fundraiser for the Vail Veterans Program. That's right. We That's do right. A, a lot of work with them. It's an amazing organization, and uh, we're honored to be partnered up with the Vail Vets uh, for this event over Memorial Day weekend. So my suggestion, if you're watching right now, is if you're going to be part of the Blues, Brews, and Barbecue barbecue competition on Sunday, then get down to Grills Gone Wild on Saturday. Practice. Right. Get it dialed in so you could compete all weekend long and win some great prizes all weekend yeah, it's, long. Yeah, it's a fun weekend to be here in the Vale Valley, isn't it's it? It's a fun weekend. Yeah. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you. you Congrats as well. with everything. You want to earn some of these trophies, you got to be a part of Girls Gone Wild this weekend down in Gypsum at the 10th Mountain Wine, uh, Whiskey and Spirits Distillery located right off the exit. You can't miss it. we got more Good Morning Vale coming up after the break.